Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can hide a table or a chart if no data is returned in SSRS report. So I have created this report where if I pass some parameter value, I have a region value and let's say if I will pass US, it has some records there so it returned me a table. So you can see that there are two records returned for US and uh, there are uh, some values for Amir and Robert in this chart as well. Now, if uh, there is a uh, other parameter, I will pass Pakistan uh, and uh, here you can see some data for Raza and Lisa and chart values are there. But if I will pass India, I don't have the data in uh, the table and uh, so see what's happening. It is showing me part of uh, the table that's a heading and uh, then for the chart it is showing me no data available. So in uh, this uh, scenario what we are going to do first of all we are going to learn how to hide chart or uh, table in SSRS uh, report uh, and the same will be used for tablex uh, uh, you know or matrix uh, uh, whatever uh, you have there you know it's just pretty much the same uh, for tablex uh, for matrix uh, or uh, for the chart you know or for other scenarios as well. So here what you're going to do you're going to right click on the tablex uh, and then uh, go to tablex properties. Uh, and here you will go to visibility and uh, here you will go show or hide uh, based on an expression. So we are going to write some expressions. So in my case, uh, if you guys notice that I have region name and then I have some values. So if my data set is returning me uh, at least one record with the name. So uh, it should return. That's why I, I have written my store procedure or a query like it should return me the values. So I'm going to check that if I, I F and I'm going to say first and then I'm going to say name. So what I'm checking is nothing. So if I'm checking if uh, uh, the very first value this uh, first uh, name column is going to return and that's going to only happen uh, if I don't have any records. So if that's true, uh, then uh, true, then it means hide. Okay, otherwise false. So what I'm saying, uh, if uh, my report is not returning anything, okay, in the uh, name column, and uh, that's where you're gonna go ahead and hide this uh, tablex. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're gonna show me the values. I'm gonna copy the same thing and do for my chart here is my chart and you guys see that i have this uh, uh series uh, category series uh, category group here that's the name so i should get these values here because uh, depending on the value of a region uh, i should get uh, records or i should not get the records depends uh, whatever if the records are available in the database or not so i'm gonna go right click here on chart properties and then i'm gonna go to visibility and uh, do the same thing so i'm going to write the same expression okay because i'm using the same data set for both of them but in your case it could be different so there are many other ways people can do it you can say is nothing and uh, you can check the uh, number values and everything but this is how it is going to be so you're going to check the values sometimes people check like if my uh, some of the count is greater than or some of total is greater than or equal to zero then uh, false you know or otherwise true so it depends upon that like whatever the scenario you do so th there are different values or columns you can use now we are going to go ahead and uh, say preview if i'll say pakistan it is just fine it returned me all values now if i will say usa it should return me the values as well and show me both chart and uh, tablex and uh, if i will do india it should not uh, return me anything uh, because it is going to hide uh, the chart and uh, the tablex so this is how you hide uh, different uh, uh, tablex uh, uh, or chart in ssrs report uh, thanks very much for watching and i hope this video will help go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video